You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Hong Kong rushed to build isolation facilities to house thousands of coronavirus patients as construction crews from mainland China have worked in the rain and chilly weather on Monday, February 21st. A local Hong Kong resident has said when the Hong Kong government dealt with the COVID-19 outbreaks, it was like blind men and an elephant operating without a plan. Now the mainland China is involved in taking the lead, which is a good thing. The Kai Tak Cruise Terminal, where the city's old airport once stood, will be turned into a dedicated COVID facility with 1,000 beds to mitigate overburdened public hospitals. The conversion of public housing estates, rental or commercial hotels, and indoor sports centers will also add an extra 20,000 units for people who tested positive for COVID but had no or mild symptoms for isolation. Scenes of people lying outside public hospitals in the rain and chilly weather have shocked many in the global financial hub, leading to an apology from authorities. The global financial hub's dynamic zero-COVID policies, mirroring those in mainland China, have contributed to its current woes and are unsustainable, some experts say.